You get a lovely poster. So yes, please take your drawings with you. Posters Come by artists on our, our roster for our shows, uh, non-con yes. shows. But all right, now I'm gonna say, little girl, Amy. Amy. Come on. I promised you you'd be up here. Now I need three other adults. Who's bad enough to go get <laughs> I don't remember what your character's name is, but great. Who's ready to take a dive against yeah, yeah. a child? Mama can come so you know up they're to gonna win. Perfect. All right, we have three adults. Uh, you're drawing. You've come up on this stage. You're drawing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this to yourself. All right, so. I would like to know what your humor is. What's something you find funny? What's something you find funny, yeah. Talking cats. <laughs> hey, you know ultimate. what? Ultimate jokes. All right, I need you to pick a card. So. Grossest thing you've done. Ah! This is literally my favorite card. <laughs> what is the grossest thing that you have ever done? <laughs> I, I don't apologize for calling you up now. Um, all right, so let's put two minutes on that clock, Mike. Yes. Thank you very much. And uh, we will get started okay. drawing the grossest thing you've ever done. Artists, count down to three, two, one, go. Thanks, Mike. So, Mike, what's the grossest thing you've ever done? Off the top of my head, uh -huh. eating, eating natto. Yeah. Wow. It's it's a fermented soy paste, soybean paste, I think. It's a natto. It tastes it tastes like you're eating a several year old gym shoe that's been sitting in a locker. It's in the in the in the texture of like wet cobwebs. Yeah, with with the texture of wet cobwebs. <laughs> and it's delicious. Some people find it delicious. Normal people think it's weird. Yeah, strong people find it delicious. All right, so we have learned that what is the grossest thing that Mike has ever done is not actually that gross, according to Margaret. Grossest thing ever done was I got sick while I was in a cab and I oh, threw goodness. up in my purse. <laughs> because I'm kind. <laughs> Did I have food poisoning? Yes. Do not pursue that car supper again. Uh, no, it, it went away. <laughs> I was very sad about it, but that is the grossest thing I have ever done. Pauline, I'm there with you. I puked in an air vent and Donna, you got to Oh, yep, yeah, that has come up before on one of these shows. So, you, we've got how much time left? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Whenever I was little, I fell off the ground really more than like a party or something. He thought I broke a bone. I was only sad because I got dirty. Not gross, but money for it. Very nice. Very nice. Thank, thank you for sharing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Caps on markers. That's an art fight. All right, friends. Again, I will ask you to introduce yourself as your character, yourself, whatever, I don't care. Hi, um, I'm Hayden, so um, I heard you like talking cats, so I mean this little cat here. Um, so what happened, he was doing a handstand, um, and he fell, and he had his glasses on, and it cut his face, and whoopsie-daisy, a bunch of cats saw him. <laughs> that is very embarrassing. All right, hello. My name is Olivia, I'm dressed as Sally. Um, long story short, I was about to go get a colonoscopy, I was on a cleanse, um, and my sister, Princess Peach, made me laugh. I was right next to the bathroom, but it was too late, oh, so here I am next to the, the toilet, I didn't make it, and I pooped in my pants. <laughs> I, I will say the shocked face on that stick figure is fantastic. You know exactly what's happening. Okay, Amy. Hello. 
What's the grossest thing? Do you want to tell me and I'll say it in the mic? Don't be embarrassed. Don't listen. She hates all me for coming. But I, I want to see fingers and ears. Your mouth. Wow, that worked. Um, That's the power, then. Oh, no. It's a mushed up cake and a carrot Ew. made of chocolate. So gross. All right. I'm, I'm Margaret, and now that we're done drawing, I thought of the best thing to draw, but that's okay. Um, that usually happens. I, I have a, yeah, I'm sure my husband could also tell quite some stories, too. But uh, I, I'm picking my nose and, and eating it. Oh! Oh, all right. Are we related? I... Well, well, well. There's people so, in my family that do that. Which one is? Are you feeling the most? So, outside of cosplay, I'm a preschool teacher. <laughs> I see a lot of gross things. Um, and one of, the, honestly, I can handle a lot. But one of the grossest things with kids is when they like spit out the food, mash it all together. <laughs> so I have to say the chocolate and carrot. Yeah. All right. So that means you're in this little hot seat. Are you okay with that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like free anyway. Great. Good job, baby. All right. Well, ma'am, I don't know your name. My name's Elliot. Hi, Elliot. Hi, Elliot. Hello. He is your big brother. All right, I need three adults. Yes. Come on. Come on. I saw that hand. Your hand went up. There's no turning back. Yeah, come on. Look, you've been volunteered. I apologize, but I'm going to bully you until you do it. It's going to be fun, I promise. Or it's going to be don't, torture. Don't worry. One more. Hey, hey, you know what? How about this? I've got an idea. You're coming, too. I'm an equal opportunity bully. Thank Do you not both. get on Colleen's bad side. No. Thank you both for joining. She will make you draw. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. All right. I need to know, what do you find funny? You can tell me, and I'll say it on the mic, or you can say it in the mic. What do you want? What's a cartoon that makes you laugh? Yeah, what's a cartoon that makes you laugh? show Friday night and I, I tore my pants setting up the rig. I had to hightail it out of the out of main event up 18 floors, grab the pajama pants that I had bought because I forgot to pack any extra pants and run all the way back down. Did you tell them that you split your pants twice? I, okay, so how do you split your pants twice? What are you doing? So the first Friday morning, he's taking a photo. They said, hey, crouch down by your crouch down by your table, take a photo. And I had a little tear. Now, it was one that people wouldn't see. It was in a, it was, it was thankfully in a, a good spot. And then um, it got bigger. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we, we have the card chosen by Amy, which is cute and deadly, a.k.a. me. And deadly. Yes, cute and deadly with the humor of Homestar Runner, which is not what I expected, but is amazing. Remember, this is a child. <laughs> yes, remember this is a child. Please keep it peachy. Peachy's fine. Um, all peachy right. or peachy? Peachy. 
Peachy peachy. All right, so let's get that two minutes on the clock. All right, on the count of three. One, three. <laughs> Gotta go. Counting by prime numbers. Uh, let's hope so. <laughs> oh, it is an internet meme type thing, so just go meme Like, go, go hardcore into your memes. Goofy. Uh, stick figure There's a guy in a Mexican wrestling mask with boxing gloves and he types on a computer and he talks like this. There is a dragon with a buff human arm named Trogdor the Burninator. I'm just giving you the ideas of what's what's the vibes. There's the Teenage Girl Squad. Teenage Girl Squad! Yeah, so... You I like the happy Oh yeah, it's already started. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Cute and deadly. Cute and deadly. Probably what Amy is, I imagine. I mean, don't see pretty too, I think. I mean, I'm going to stop. <laughs> yes, and you, you are doing a lot of Homestar voices. I do a lot of voices because I work alone and step left with my thoughts. Yeah. You're doing a good job. Yeah, oh, thanks for the George. The good George. Okay, uh, <laughs> Alright, let's keep an eye on the time, Mike. Uh, yeah, no, uh, okay. 33 seconds. <laughs> Remember, all you have to do is explain your drawing. Even if it's not complete, even if it's not complete, you just explain. That's all. Yeah. And then you never know, but sometimes people find the wackiest things funny. And you go, that one? All right. Ten seconds. Five seconds. No seconds. <laughs> Caps off markers, that is an art fight. I hate that. I am loath to say it. you are more chaotic than me with the time, and I love it. All right, so we're gonna do it like the rest of them. I'm going to need you to introduce yourself, however you like, and then uh, tell us what you drew. My name is Zeno, and I drew a cute but deadly rabbit and a stick figure with boxing gloves. And he thinks he's gonna win, but the rabbit has a little mic behind it. <laughs> and two. Very sharp teeth. Oh, it's giving Monty Python. It is giving Monty Python. Do love it. All right. Uh, my name is Daniel, and I'm a cosplayer. Uh, when I drew here, I guess I was supposed to draw an animal, but I don't want to pay attention. No, just keep it then. I drew uh, a guy getting his finger bitten. So the beam up, Charlie, you bit my finger. Hello. Hello. Ariel, I'm a cosplayer, and uh, I drew a rabbit holding a knife. <laughs> um, um, what do you guys know? The one thing know? that came to mind is that, uh, it, what do you have? A knife! No! Yeah. What do you people know about rabbits that I don't? I don't know! Alright, Elliot, you want me to show us this picture for you? I just pictured a cute rabbit. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Like, like, little cute face. Alright, Ellie, what did you grab? I'm Elliot, and I didn't have, I couldn't think of something fast, so I had to draw something little. But it's supposed to be like something, something with a kitty head. Aww. I'm gonna point out that this has a extremely sharp tail. I don't like that. Oh. And oh. way too is. many legs. <laughs> It is a scorpion kitty I would not want to meet in a back alley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did it right, Ellie. That was cute. All right, kiddo. Which did you think was funniest? Knives. <laughs> so was it the one with the boxing gloves or the one where it was 
<laughs> what do you got there? A knife? No! Which one? The boxing gloves! Thank you. Unfortunately for you, that means you're on the hot seat. Oh. <laughs> you're in the hot seat. You control the fates of yes. four audience members. <laughs> Alright, I need four adults. Yes. You haven't drawn yet? You're, you, wait one second until we see if people haven't drawn it. You two. Alright, do we have two others who want to come up? I'm looking at y'all. Oh. <laughs> come on, it's fun. Yeah, it's we're fun. Right here. Yeah. Alright. Excellent work. Let's go. <laughs> Brandon, I filled the cards. That would be helpful to know. I left them over here. That is unhelpful. All right, we're getting low on these, so I think we'll probably just do one more after this. So perhaps we do a combo round next. A who? Combo. Who? Maybe. I mean, people took their things, so we'll just explain a combo round, and that's fine. All right. I need you to pick a card and tell me your sense of humor. It's pretty dark. <laughs> pretty dark. PG, but pretty dark. Pretty dark. Any, any other Rabbits with knives. <laughs> pretty dark, but keep it PG. Okay? Cool. Please pick a card. Alright, what do we got? Cartoon zombie. Cartoon zombie. I drew that one. So, cartoon zombie. Again, another one you can do a lot with. I drew uh, My Little Pony. So. You, you can do any cartoon, but make it a zombie. But dark, but peachy. <laughs> All right, do we have two minutes on the clock? We have two minutes on the clock. All right, artists, on the count of three. Three! All right, go! Oh, yeah, it's not even popular, you just Yes. I'm straight to the point. <laughs> yeah. You want to know something controversial? Dirt. I don't really like zombies. Why? I, I How? I, you know, it's a, it's a genre that feels one note to me. Okay, that's true. You know, I... <laughs> Thank you for validating me. So, I appreciate that. Here, here's a little secret. Um, uh -huh. I don't like scary things, so I don't like most zombie things. All right, so... I now, feel like Shaun of the Dead. What we are telling you is that you need to be scary, dark, and PG. So we need to terrify Mike, and we need to uh, fulfill the prompt. This is because I was doing all those voices, isn't it? You're, yes. you're targeting me. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. And I will note that we do have our card game for sale up here. Just saying, in mm -hmm. case you want to take it home with you. Makes great presents. <laughs> Start your Christmas shopping now. Go play it in your hotel room. I can't tell you what to do. We're definitely buying it. <laughs> you know, I love you guys. <laughs> you all had a great time at our booth earlier. Like, this was great. You were there when Mike ripped his pants. <laughs> so, just so you know. Oh, yeah. I just thought he, he was doing like a pajama pants theme because it looked like a. Oh, yeah. 30 yeah, seconds left. It was solidarity. You were, you were. Aaron was like, be right back. I'm going to grab my pajama pants. Uh -huh. okay, like, like, 20 the seconds left <laughs> for the artists. I thought it was for the people. All right, we've got some stuff here. Uh, I'm seeing. Nine. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. And caps on markers. That's an art fight. So I just want to say before I'm shown anything scary, uh, you're going to have to explain to my wife why I can't sleep tonight. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this the same as the other rounds. Please introduce yourself and explain your drawing. Uh, my name is Bethany, and you said you like dark, so I was just going for a zombie that's starting to fall apart. <laughs> there is an eyeball not attached. That retina's going down. All right. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I, this is a lot harder than I thought it would. Yeah, it's kind of a zombie with really weird feet, because I don't like feet. Feet are terrifying. Respect, respect, respect. I'm not drawing feet for the life of me. 
<laughs> All right, zombie with not good feet. They're too pointy. I'm Kaveh. So, Walk of Life, I forgot what Spongebob looked like. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's kind of circular. <laughs> no, never mind. He's trying to no, feel awkward. He got bit by a zombie, so he got SpongeBob as a zombie. Trying to bite catchers, you know, they were best friends. And I think he would want him to be with him. This is tragic. You know, I feel like SpongeBob would bite Patrick, and Patrick, it would be a really small snack. Who lives in a pineapple? One this. brain cell. No, no longer SpongeBob, he is the other. All right, so we have Zombie SpongeBob and a really sad Patrick. We <laughs> did. All right, hello. My name is Quasia, and you said zombies, so I thought it was the Last of Us. Oh, so that zombie is eating hell. I think that's her name. That's her body. It says lunch, crunch, and then that's them. I forgot the noise that zombie's name, so I just put um. <laughs> Look, yeah, yeah, that's, that's thing, you, know. you know, I, I love it. All the good parts I do want to point me. out that these sticks here are the limbs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that stick figure is a bunch of sticks. That, that's pretty much a screenshot of, the, of when I tried playing that game. I will, I will tell you, you have a hard job right now. So, but the pressure's on. Yeah, you pressure's have to make on. Yeah, hold them up again. They're very good. I love them. Which one do you think is best? I'm gonna have to go with the last of this reference. Yeah. 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 All right. So please, you can take your guys with you. Uh, on the other side is a poster from one of our rosters. So, all right, and that means you're in the hot seat. I'm ready to do one more round. So I need volunteers. Volunteers, you can come back up. Let, let's. How about, how about you two? Oh, we got one over here. Oh. Hey, m maybe bearded a doll. Go, 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 go! And you know what? Stomp it on a doll. Stomp it on a doll. I'm calling on you. All right, and let's see. We have one, two, three. Jesse's gonna come back up. Yeah, we have. I, hold on, hold on. Did you want to come back up? This is my audience. Yeah, okay, and then you come back up. Yeah. I do this all the time. All right, so. I'm going to let you peruse this since you're the last one. You can just tell me which one you want, and then you can tell me what kind of humor you have. So. Yes. One Why don't you talk about combos while we're doing this? Okay. Well, there are several cards in the, uh, in the deck that are combo cards. They are cards, Margaret's got them here. What happens is, instead of taking a new sheet of paper, you pass the paper around, so you have someone else's drawing from the previous round, and you have to add to it. So, so if, if uh, we were using the last round, it would be cartoon zombies with majestic facial hair. <laughs> SpongeBob has a killer handlebar mustache. <laughs> or, whoop, or, bargain Brit. <laughs> That's a hard word to say, Ben. Bargain Bin prosthetics. Bargain Bin prosthetics. Bargain Bin prosthetics. Bargain Bin prosthetics. All right, Mike, it was just you. <laughs> All right, so we have our chosen card, and it is Terrible Gifts for Grandma. Yeah! Terrible Gifts for Grandma. Now, That's you told me what your type of humor is, so I would like you to tell the artist what your type of humor is. Um, it's a little messed up. Okay. <laughs> So we've got messed up but peachy. Yeah. We've found our people. We have found our people messed up but peachy. Dark twisted. Dark twi Wait, twisted. No, no, no. Sorry. But, you know, peachy. Okay. Two minutes on the clock. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Go. You are such a grandma. <laughs> you know, I told him that I do that, and I feel like he took that and ran with it, it and I respect it so challenge. much. It was a personal challenge, and now I feel like I'm going to have to be more chaotic the next time, and I'm going to tell Mikey that it's your fault. 
That's okay. My dad could not draw a stick figure, so this is going to be Hey, you know what? That's okay, because you don't have to know how to draw. Stick figures totally won the last round. I mean, I a stick figure being pulled apart by zombies is genius. Like, not going to lie, brilliant. So, you know, you can do a lot with a stick figure. I don't know how to smell it anymore. You know, that's okay. okay. I don't know how to talk anymore. <laughs> I re rest, rest and reposed. Rest and requiem. There's a lot of R's you can use. Rest and R, R, R. Uh, one minute left. R, 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 I should not have any, I should have any of those. What's going on? <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay. Hey, hey, Mike. I'm, I'm old. I don't know these things anymore. It's been out for ten years. You had time. It's been. A I, I, I. It's literally one of the biggest gaming uh, franchises that isn't from Nintendo. Yes, but also I don't like scary things. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was going to point that out. So I want to point out that Mike is a like six foot one baby. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. My dad cannot watch anything with eyes. Ten. I out. He can't watch it. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's an art. <laughs> So, hello, I need you to introduce yourself and tell us about your art. My name's Jared, and Grandma's opening up a package of used Depends, full oh. of advice, and she says she already has them. <laughs> Remember folks, recycle. <laughs> full, full load, half price, thank you very much, hello. Hi, I'm uh, Jason, and uh, uh, Grandma here, who has uh, ten children, is being, being given uh, the gift of her last one testament, where she is where it's already filled out, where she's hereby bequeathing all her worldly possessions to my favorite child, unspecified. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Very nice. Now. Very nice. Hello again. Please introduce yourself again for the new people. So, I'm Andrew, and um, I, I picked uh, probably the obvious joke. Um, <laughs> rest in pieces, Grandma. I don't love you. No, no, You have no idea how often that happens backstage at Art Fight shows. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma is sad because they got her a tombstone that says how much they don't like her. <laughs> Alright, giving you a second, you good? Okay. I, I wanted to give you a second. You good? Okay. Please introduce yourself again for the newbies and then you explain your art. Hello, I am Ariel. Um, I drew, um, I definitely did not fill in the, the tube to play. I forgot how to spell rest in peace. I forgot how to spell it again for the second time. Uh, I definitely, I don't even know what I drew here. Well, I, I think I drew like a skeleton, like a skull cookie. I don't know. I don't know. Like, on top. I don't even know what I drew. Skull cookies sound really good right you now. You know, it could be a lunch. day of the dead type thing. You could yeah, be. Getting your ancestors cookies. Yeah, surprise. Grandma might like a cookie, you know. They gave that to Coco's grandma. Yeah, there you go. All right, so moment of truth for the last round of this panel. Which did you think is the funniest? Favorite child. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite child. Well done, well done, everyone. Thank you for playing. You can keep uh, your drawings. They have posters on the back. Uh, that have been drawn by our roster. So I would like to thank all of you for coming. Uh, we had a blast. I hope you all had fun. And again, we have our card game hub for sale if you choose to buy it. We also have it at our booth down in the merch table for the next like half hour. Um, all right. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. We have been super art fight. And
This has been Cute Animals on Fire. Oh, on fire.